Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for this special fire situation report for Sunday, September 13th, 2015. Obviously, fire activity has increased significantly across the state. As you can see from our statewide fire Google map, there are over a dozen active fires still burning in California. Now, many of them, especially up here in the northwestern part of the state, have actually been burning since early July. But right now, what we are seeing is high fire activity on two fires, both of them in the center part of the state in Northern California, the Valley Fire in Lake County, as well as the Butte Fire in Amador and Calaveras. I'll get more into detail on both of those. But let me explain what has set the stage for this fire activity. Obviously, the drought conditions have led to significant fire uh, activity all year long. But what we saw last week were triple digit temperatures up and down the state. It was those hot temperatures that really allowed for the vegetation, the grass, the brush and the trees to be tinder dry. Then over the weekend, while temperatures began to cool down, we saw winds increase and it's those winds that continue to fan many of these fires. Let's zoom in to uh, several of the large fires that are really uh, causing a lot of destruction uh, so far. The first one is the Valley Fire. Now, just to give you some perspective of where the Valley Fire has burned, this right here is Clear Lake. You can see uh, an area too that has been hit very hard, especially the eastern portion of Clear Lake with the Rocky Fire and the Jerusalem Fire. This is the Valley Fire. The Valley Fire started near the community of Cobb. Uh, that fire uh, ignited just before 1.30 yesterday afternoon and quickly increased in size. It pushed to the southeast uh, in this direction, immediately threatening the community of Cobb. That was one of the first communities that was put under a mandatory evacuation. It then went through Harbin Springs. That, too, was put under a mandatory evacuation. Now, it's important to note this map, this perimeter, does not show all 40,000 acres that have burned so far because the communities of Middletown, as well as Hidden Valley Lake, have both been hit hard by this fire. This has been a very destructive fire. Uh, it has destroyed uh, countless homes and other buildings. We have not had a chance and been able to actually get a current uh, uh, assessment of how much uh, was actually destroyed in that fire, mainly due to the fact that firefighters are still actively battling uh, fire as we speak, getting residents evacuated. That has been number one. But let me explain a little bit about what it was like there in Lake County yesterday. As firefighters responded to an area, the first thing, getting people out of harm's way, evacuating those residents. In some cases, residents only had minutes to evacuate. So firefighters would respond to an area, respond to a neighborhood, uh, start to getting those residents evacuated, taking a stand as that fire approached it, doing what they needed to do to protect those homes. As the fire approached, it was sending hot embers uh, a quarter of a mile, a half a mile uh, past their location, igniting spot fires. Those fires would then ignite and the fire would race on. So the firefighters would have to pull back, uh, re-establish uh, uh, their uh, locations, uh, evacuate more residents. Again, take a stand to hold the fire back. And again, that process would continue. Ashes, embers would rain down a quarter, half mile behind them, and the fire would continue to spread more and more. In less than uh, 12 hours or so, 40,000 acres in total have burned. No containment. There's no containment. That's because, again, as fire crews would make progress, hold the fire, it would burn right past them. So just to zoom back out, let's. Uh, this is not the full perimeter, as I mentioned. Clear Lake. Uh, this fire has continued to burn to the southeast, uh, getting right to the edge of both Lake and Napa counties. Evacuations are widespread throughout the area. If I zoom in a little bit uh, so we can show you the Highway 29 corridor. Highway 29 runs south of Clear Lake all the way down uh, into uh, from uh, all the way down the middle of Lake County. The Highway 29 corridor south of Lower Lake all the way down into the upper portions of Calistoga are evacuated. This area here, all the way up into the, the Cobb region. New evacuations as of today up here on the north part of the fire. That's because now we're starting to see winds pushing south going upwards towards the Soda Bay region. Highway uh, 218 that runs right through this area, that's where uh, new evacuations uh, are now in place. Communities throughout this region, again, all south of Clear Lake itself, um, but on the northern edge of the fire. So while most of the fire activity overnight was pushing down to the southeast, this now more activity pushing north with those winds. Now, in that area yesterday, cooler temperatures from what we saw last week. We did not see those triple digits. Uh, it was the winds, though, that picked up 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. 
Now, overnight, those winds did die down. That is good news. Temperatures went down. That is good news. Even a little bit of light rain. Again, good news. Unfortunately, the fire has continued to burn throughout those factors, uh, not really being able to play much help in the fire fight. So uh, what we saw is this continued, trying to get residents evacuated. Life safety has been number one. Here's a critical message. If you live anywhere near this fire, and again, it's important to note, if you're just joining us, this perimeter is not the most accurate perimeter. Uh, unfortunately, with uh, the firefight going on and the smoke cover over the area, we are not able to give you a clearer picture of the actual perimeter. 40,000 acres have in all, again, all throughout Hidden Valley Lake and Middletown areas. If you live, though, in this region, even if you are not under a mandatory evacuation, you have to be prepared. Make sure you have those important items that you would need if you were asked to evacuate. Personal documents, personal items, uh, memorabilia, photos, things that are irreplaceable. Gather those now. That way, if the fire does shift gears, does change directions, you can evacuate quickly. You can find more information if you have time on our website at readyforwildfire.org. That's where you can get all those items that you should get if you are evacuated. Now, it's important to note, stay tuned to local law enforcement. The Lake County Sheriff's Department is putting out information as quickly as possible. But as I mentioned earlier, yesterday, evacuations, some were only given minutes to evacuate as this fire has burned so dynamically. So again, just to recap, this is the Valley Fire. Over 40,000 acres burned in total, no containment yet on the fire. Uh, we have well over 1,000 firefighters battling this fire more that are in route uh, but a lot of destruction a very fast moving fire causing a lot of destruction uh, i want to zoom out and switch gears to the other active fire that's burning right now in northern california you can see sacramento just to the east of sacramento that's where the butte fire continues to burn in both amador and uh, calaveras counties that fire started just to the east of jackson jackson is this community right here this right here is the uh, Butte Fire. Now, it has burned the same kind of direction, a southeasterly direction, past McCollumy Hill, past San Andreas, all the way through Mountain Ranch, continuing to threaten uh, numerous communities. Obviously, Angels Camp, this northern portion here, all under a uh, mandatory evacuation right now. So, the same thing uh, as with the uh, with the Valley Fire, if you live anywhere near the Butte Fire, even if you're not evacuated, if you live on the Highway 49 corridor or the 4 corridor, you should be ready to go in case you are asked to evacuate. So far, the Butte Fire has been a destructive fire as well. Over 65,000 acres have burned. Firefighters on that fire have made progress. 20% contained on that fire. A lot of that containment is actually up here on the northern portion of the fire up in Amador County. A lot of that had to do with the fact that the winds continue to push this fire to the southeast. 20% contained. There are uh, a significant number of firefighters on this fire. Over 4,100 firefighters battling this fire. Thousands of others responding uh, to the uh, Valley Fire. Now, this fire, very destructive, uh, as uh, has been earlier reported. 81 homes were burned in the Butte Fire, as well as 51 outbuildings. So many homes, unfortunately, in the fire's path. Same type of conditions. Crews would get in there. The fire would continue to burn beyond their points where they were working to take a stand on this fire. So all our firefighters have been able to do is get people out of that area. So far, there have been no reports of injuries on this fire. However, I do want to mention on the Valley Fire in Lake County yesterday, four of our firefighters did suffer second degree burns while they were attacking the fire. Uh, those firefighters were all airlifted out of the fire and transported to the UC Davis Medical Center. All four firefighters are in stable condition. That is the good news, but a clear sign of just how dangerous fire conditions are across the region. So both on the Butte Fire as well as the Valley Fire, uh, significant fire uh, evacuation, significant destruction on these two fires. If you want more information, more specifics on those evacuations, visit our website at fire.ca.gov. That's where you can find a full list of what areas are closed due to road closures, what areas are being evacuated. But as I mentioned, these are just two, and while they're the most active fires, just two fires out of a half dozen of fires or so that are burning, uh, excuse me, a dozen fires that are burning across California. You can find this full map on our website, fire.ca.gov. This is the statewide interactive Google Fire Map. You can zoom into a perimeter. The other fire of note that I want to mention is the, uh, down here, the rough fire. 
The rough fire has been burning since late July on the Sierra and the Sequoia National Forest. Uh, this is in Fresno County, Fresno uh, just to the, to the uh, west of this fire. Nearly 130,000 acres have burned on the rough fire. This is one of the largest fires in our state's history now. It is in the top 20 largest fires. 31% contain this fire being fought by the U.S. Forcers. Now, CAL FIRE has activated one of the incident command teams. We have resources that we have brought in specifically to protect the communities uh, that we protect uh, in somewhat of the south uh, western portion of this fire, Dunlap, Squaw Valley, those are areas uh, for us concerned. There are not evacuations immediately uh, for these communities, but there are for some of the outskirt areas. So really important, if you live in Fresno County, check with the Fresno County Sheriff's Department for the latest on those evacuations. But again, 130,000 acres have burned in total, 31% containment on this fire. Now, I want to switch to some photos just to kind of give you an idea of somewhat of the picture of what we are facing. This is from the Butte fire. You can see this large column of smoke sending smoke billowing throughout much of Northern California. If you live in the Northern California region, you may be smelling smoke and wonder where the fire is. Well, the Butte fire, uh, the Rough fire, as well as the Valley fire are sending significant smoke columns throughout much of the state. You can see residents watching just as this fire has continued to ravage the landscape, uh, burning uh, everything in its path despite the efforts of firefighters. This, though, is a very telling picture. This is a CAL FIRE sign that's uh, in Calaveras County. The sign says, if you can't read it, do your homework, brush up on defensible space. I can tell you, without a doubt, those homes that have that defensible space that significantly increases their chance of surviving a wildfire. You can see the fire just billowing down uh, near the communities of San Andreas, uh, McCallamy Hill, and many others in Calaveras County. Again, another site, you can see flame lengths, 50, 100 feet tall flame lengths, just aggressive fire behavior. These two fires, the Butte and the Valley, are burning very similar to what we would see when a Santa Ana wind fire uh, is fanned. The only difference here is, while we have a little bit of winds, we're talking 20, maybe 30 miles an hour. Not the same 70, 80, 90, 100 mile an hour winds we would see with a Santa Ana wind. It's because conditions are so dry, but that's where we're seeing extreme fire behavior. This map may be hard to see this image provided by the Weather Service, uh, but this is just a uh, image from space. You can see both the Valley Fire and the Butte Fire are clearly visible from space, especially the Valley Fire. It burned throughout the evening hours. Now, our outlook for the next couple days, while we're seeing mild temperatures, even some morning sprinkles, we had a little bit of light rainfall over the Valley Fire in Lake County. It has not done much. It's not enough rainfall to significantly uh, make a difference. There is a slight chance of afternoon mountain thunderstorms in the mountain regions of Northern California. That has us concerned as the possibility of dry lightning uh, does occur. Again, if you live anywhere in Northern California, expect to see smoke as that continued fires are raging uh, right now. Now, as I mentioned, over 10,000 firefighters battling the dozen or so fires burning across California. We can't cover them all right now, but you can always find that information at fire.ca.gov. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter so that you have the latest when new evacuations are called and when new updates are posted. Always check with your local law enforcement as well, their social media or their website accounts to get latest evacuation information. So, a very dynamic situation, two major fires, two very destructive fires, 40,000 acres burnt in Lake County, over 65,000 acres burnt in Amador and Calaveras counties. It is only in the middle of September. We still have several more months of fire season left to go. Be prepared, make sure you're ready to go. Again, that website, readyforwildfire.org. Now that's the latest on the fire situation currently right now in California. Again, for the latest, make sure to check out our Facebook and our Twitter and our website. For now though, I'm Daniel Berlant. Have a fire safe weekend and uh, stay safe.